We're going to demonstrate um, different aspects of Kung Fu. We'll do some, whatever, do a whole form of stuff. We'll to show you different parts of spear, broadsword, sword, um, and long fist. The long fist is a non -graphic. And trust me, they get harder, longer, and more complicated as you go along. And next, Mike is going to demonstrate uh, what the broadsword forms. Even though everything is choreographed, if you forget, even for a little bit, one second, forget a move, it's possible that you could get killed. Because oh, for spear versus open hand, you have this one move where they're stabbing you straight at your hand, and you have to move your hand out of the way, and that's coming by right where your face was. If you forget for even a second, it's some stabbing. Since it's slow and that older people do it, that it's easy. Mm. It takes balance. It takes flexibility. It takes lots mm. of concentration. And you have to be able to relax mm. a lot. And it all has to come together. And this is the drums. And Master Chen or, or just, uh, Jackie Sorry. plays, and it's very loud. You do not need a PA. <laughs> just the loudness of this itself will attract the attention. 
We're not line dance partners, because um, my partner is Ginny and his partner is uh, Yang, and you practice with your partner all the time, so you really get to know their moves because you're gonna lift them up, uh -huh. and you're jumping, and you have to be in sync. So, Mike will be in the back, and he's, he's uncomfortably bent over. <laughs> we gotta show them what you look like. Oh, he's bent over like that. You and sit like this the whole time through. The 10, entire 15 time, minutes. he's like that. Sometimes it might get a break if they raise the line up above the head and go on one foot. You gotta stand up for maybe a few seconds and then back down. Yeah. And, he's, and he's gonna be holding on. Hold on. And he's gonna walk around. All right. Go for it. Okay. okay. And his cross is gonna shake it. You're gonna move the eyes, move the mouth, kind of move the head. And you gotta kind of give it a personality. Uh -huh. And you kind of will jump in along with it, down in different stances. And it goes with the, the music. <laughs> My favorite part of the day was probably watching the um, Kung Fu demonstration. It was really a thrill just to see these guys perform. My favorite thing was trying the um, fruit stuff because I never try new things. My favorite thing was the Kung Fu demonstration because I've taken karate when I was younger and I like the spiritual aspects of the art. My favorite part of the day was uh, trying to order food and getting yelled at by uh, Chinese people. Well, I still have the taste of Durain in my mouth. Uh, that was pretty interesting and in learning about Durain, Durain, Durian, or whatever, and learning about Wushu. That, that's my. Man, forget y'all, man. She very cool. My favorite part was touring the Asian market. My favorite thing of today was watching the martial arts because I'm really interested in martial arts and I really want to take Tai Chi. And I like Chinese culture, so I like like the whole chip and stuff. <laughs> Coming on a whole chip, it's pretty awesome. And not getting arrested for not trying to pass yes. off a twenty dollar counterfeit. <laughs> it wasn't my fault. It was, my mom gave it to me. <laughs> oh, it it there's something I have to tell you about your mom. <laughs> <laughs> they have like really cool bottles that have the little ball in the top, and you have to put a little plastic thing down to open the bottle. If you don't do it right, you'll get drink all over you. So, yeah. It was kind of interesting. My favorite thing was just coming on a trip and going to the Grand Asian Market. I got to see different different things. And what I learned is not to eat that fruit again. Good, well, I like meeting everybody. Ready? Eat.